I want to be the best West Lacrosse team that's come through the school, and we have the talent to do that. And I want my teammates to know that we can do it, and it's just us. We can be as good as we want to be. Lacrosse, it's a very much an energy game. We want to practice with energy, we want to play with energy, and when you overpower a team with energy, you're usually very successful. We're a threat. We know if we keep our energy high, we can be unbeatable. You keep up in a positive attitude in school and out of school, nothing can stop you. It just takes that little bit of heart, a little bit of want to, to really make the team go. My main mindset is just to win. You know, come out as a team, do what we're told in practice. When we do play with energy, we get the outcome we want. Our community just supports us so much and always giving our 100% effort. We're always going out with the same mentality. We're trying to build a legacy going out. It's our last year and a bunch of the seniors aren't going anywhere to play. So we're trying to go out with a bang. We're trying to represent what West Forsyth is supposed to stand for with culture, with Coach Layden building such a strong legacy. So we're trying to go out with a bang and you know, leave our mark. And this group's really taking our culture to another level. And we talk about our culture pretty openly about it, energy being the first thing, and toughness being the second thing, and trust being the third. You just have to be concerned about us. That's something we kind of started talking about recently, about just being about us and taking care of, of the things that we do well. Everyone, they, they all look up to us at school, so we try to get the best record for them, try to win as many games as possible, make them proud. Everything that Coach Land has ever taught us is just about formulating energy and keeping everyone hype, keeping it as high as we can of our energy and keeping that momentum swing with us, make sure that we can just play our game, high speed, just kind of almost just outpace other teams. Going out, practicing 100%, working 100%, no days off. We try to practice every single day, no matter what the weather is, going 100%. We're just super big on being like brothers instead of just teammates and really good friends. Everything you do, you do with pride. And everything you do has to, has hard work involved with it, and have some fun doing it while you're out there. We're all very close. It's just a brotherhood to us. When you're practicing playing, you have to care about each other. Lacrosse has definitely made me grow up. It's a commitment that I think is a very good life lesson going into college. It's a lot of practices, a lot of hard work, and it gives you a good work ethic out of everything. You know, you have to be on time, you have to show up every single day, and then when you're just going above and beyond, you know, you're coming early, you're staying after, you're going to the gym after, you're doing what a bunch of these kids on this team do. It 
feeds into your daily life, especially when you start getting a job, going into college. It just it builds character, and I think it helps you in the future. I was elected by my teammates to be a team captain. I think it's setting the example of the character. I really like to lead by example, just to go put my like best effort out there, lead from the front by like being out there, almost in front of everyone to show them like how I want to be done and how to lead the team. The Pope game was a big game because one of our really good players, Tiernan, um, tore his other ACL in that game, and we were all super upset, and kind of right after that happened, we all kind of knew it happened, and we all came together and made sure that we, we won that game for him. The captains kind of had to come together and kind of bring the team together after we lost Tiernan and just pull everyone back together, get our heads more focused. Then we started to pick up a lot more steam. I think that's a lot from like leadership and I think that we've been able to pull everyone together and we're set to go and be the best lacrosse team that's come to Western South. Layden, he preaches it every day, all the energy, got to stay on top of everything, all the ground balls, can't let them slack up any time in practice because it will translate into the game. Don't be scared to make a mistake, just give all out effort, leave it all out on the field. But just being there for each other, be able to support each other, be able to encourage each other. One, one big family that just comes together and we, during the games, just compete and outpace everyone else. It's the most special group we've ever had. And um, I care a lot about them. I, I love them all very much. And uh, they've given so much to this program and to whoever I've asked and to each other. Um, they're just a great group, and I, and I know they'll be very successful in life. If it wasn't for them pushing me every day, I could never be the person that I am. I'm going to miss them in college. I had a great time while it lasted. Uh, it was the best time of my life. I'm going to hope to see them again. We're all going to grow up together. We're going to keep in touch. We're just going to keep the work ethic high. I know all of them work hard. We're going to keep that up. We're just going to build a legacy. Leave it all out on the field. Never want to regret not going 100%. I make sure that I get into the school and I get to see these guys off the field. You know, there's there's more than just wearing the pads. I really enjoy it, and it is a real family atmosphere. I mean, the world to me. Uh, there's nothing I wouldn't do for them. I've been with them a long time. They have always had my respect, and I know I would always have their back. They would always have mine. My guys. Simply, you know, I I, uh, I love all the boys. They'll always be in my heart. Always. <laughs>